I joined the police in Dorset in 1997, moved up through the ranks before progressing on to be the head of crime and criminal justice. There are some things that will haunt you forever, and it's probably those things that should have been preventable. Domestic homicide, child safeguarding, where the bits of the jigsaw were there, it's just that people didn't either assemble them in the correct way at the correct time, or didn't react to what they were seeing. I think in my mind, I'd always been looking at how technology could improve what we were doing. That thinking is what got me connected with BAE systems in the first place. I head up our futures team at BA Systems, identifying good problems to solve, working out how we might tackle those problems and then taking those ideas and developing all the way through to operational product. We run an ideation week. It's a fantastic process where we start with about 200 or so problems and the objective is to distill those down into high potential market propositions at the end of it. One of the post-it notes that was put on the wall was, I think, something along the lines of HTN for law enforcement, which was effectively that initial idea from which ILAS came. The technology itself, which was used generally within the kind of the planning space, which is used for spacecraft, for kind of vehicles, for all those kind of automation processes. But what we were starting to look at was, could you reverse that process? And could you say, based on the actions we're seeing in the world and what people are doing, can we detect the plan that they're trying to achieve? And so if you apply that in the criminal space, you're saying, can we look at all the actions? Can we look at all the pieces of risk? Can we reverse engineer them to detect this pattern of activity using the same principles and the same structure? The big difference that ILAS brings is its ability to look at a big database and for the first time in, in my career, to push something back to me that I hadn't seen before, to tell me something I didn't know. The first time I met Ben um, was in Paul Police Station, and I remember giving a, a presentation on what the concept was and where we would go with it. And then Ben came over afterwards and tapped me on the shoulder and said, this sounds great, let's have a go. And that was really when we decided that that would be kind of the lead force that we would start with. And then when Ben retired from the police, he decided to come on and kind of continue with that journey in BA system. The first time that it became really home to me that this has real opportunity to make a big impact in the world was when Rich first came back having mapped our first domain, which was the child exploitation domain. So when we turned ILAS on, as always happens with these kind of things, the first time you look at it and you go, there's all these errors, these issues we have to solve, um, you know, like minor things you have to tweak. But I think the second time that we turned it on, we effectively said, well, here's the priority list. Here's the children that we've identified that may be at risk based on what you told us. And most of them were correct. I think eight out of 10, they recognized. A few of them they didn't recognize, but they, they went to look at and they said, yes, these are ones that we'd be interested in. Literally, ILAS turned a fairly opaque pool of data into a prioritized list of children at risk. Now, that was a, a, a really magic moment. To be able to just point ILAS at the police data and have it come back with something that was readable, that meant something that we couldn't see before, was really important. Quite soon after that initial prototype, they started to kick off some operational activity to go and put protection plans in place to go and investigate potential offenders. I think the great thing about the ILAS team is that there's a, a level of motivation which you don't often get in teams because everyone believes in the vision, believes in the impact that this is having and really wants to make this a success. So my motivation to do this is I want to see it done right. I want to see this done by really competent people so that we know that this is the best of the best. And for me, that really matters because I can look back on my career to the, the faces of the people who've needed to be noticed and have been let down by the system because the system wasn't sensitive to pick them up. But having something like ILAS makes that much less likely to happen because ILAS is there spotting things, helping people to be the best that they can be. And that's, that's all we can ask for. That's a fantastic feeling that this thing started out as a yellow sticky note and now we have something which is having a real impact in the world and myself speaking personally, but also I think the whole team are really proud of what we've achieved.